Seriously. Seriously. Our transfer policy is a fucking joke right now. Hi there, guys. What's going on? It's JB here with another video. Um, <clears throat> don't forget, uh, I'll be on Twitch at 5 o'clock, about 10 past 5. Uh, for commentary of Germany against Sweden in the Women's World Cup, I'll be live on that, so don't forget to switch over to Twitch. But uh, it's not just that I'm on uh, on air to talk about. Um, I'm here again. My usual annual annual video on Burnley's pathetic transfer policy. I'm sick of making these videos every summer because the football club don't want to bother. Sometimes, I mean you. Um, the reason why I've been prompting it to make it, one of the players that I loved us to assign, and I really wanted us to sign Chair Adams, looks as if he's on, to, on his way to Southampton for just £15 million. Pounds. I'm very, very disappointed. Um, and, of course, it's, you know, it's prompted me to make this video. It's not, listen, people tell me to F off and all sorts when I make these videos, and, go, you know, people tell me that I should go and support someone else. I'll tell you why I support Burnley. They're my local team. I want them to do well. I want them to show ambition. Of course, I don't want them to end up like Bolton Wanderers are, very near extinct. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, what is Mike Garlic and Mike Rigg actually playing at at the moment? I don't really think shouting about it is going to do any the situation any good. I'll talk about it. I'll I'll give my opinion on what I think. I'm not going to go crazy like I have done the last two or three transfer videos I've made because it is getting repetitively boring. I'm sure it is for you, but I'm 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 lost for words. Our board is a joke. The football club is a joke. I've tried to speak to the media man. He's not giving me any answers. He's not giving the supporters any answers. I do feel sorry for him in a way because he's got to take the flak and. Yet you don't have, you know, Mike Garlick should be coming out on social media and actually saying these things. Is he undermining Sean? Sean Dyche is also a speculationist to believe is a, a is in line to be the next Newcastle manager. I hope he isn't. I hope Mike Garlick strengthens his hand in the transfer window. Strengthens Dyche's hand in the window. But who are we going to get now with any real quality up front to give Chris Wood and Ashley Barnes a challenge? Because... Chardons would have been that player, but he's now going to go off to Southampton. Thank you, board. Thank you, Mike Rigg. Where have you been playing at for the last two weeks? Oh, I've heard rumours that Mike Rigg has just buggered off on his holidays when he should be going out there and scouting the best out, the best there is out there for us to sign. We haven't signed anybody yet. Sheffield United have signed, I think Sheffield United have signed a couple of players. Villa have strengthened with four players. Brighton have just bought a really promising Belgian for £18 million. And what have we done? Oh, I'll tell you. Naff all as usual. I know it's early in the window and people will probably have a pop at me for this, but I don't freaking care. You can all do one as well as I said. All you critics and all you bloody keyboard warriors out there, do one as far as I'm concerned, because I don't give a monkey's what you guys think. I just care about my football team sometimes. You know what I mean? I'm fed up. I'm fed up with the same old BS coming out of my club every summer or every other transfer window. I mean, the last two windows have been so, so poor. We bought two players in we didn't use and a, a goalkeeper that passed his sell by day who we haven't sold yet. Waste them, you know. And that's because we dawdled and pissed around last year. We pissed around again. We sell Sam Vokes. It was a proven goal scorer, in my opinion, still, and had a lot to offer us. We let him go to stock. And who did we bring in? And a 37-year-old has been in Peter Crouch. So the last two winners, let's put it in a nutshell, have been a fucking joke. And I'll be buggered if we're seeing this again for a fucking third time. I'm absolutely frustrated. I'm absolutely angry. I am worried. I am pissed off. I want to see some... I want to see... Some players in. All I'm being, all I'm seeing at the moment is being linked with outgoings, and it's not great, if I'm being honest. Where is the players coming in? Where are the players coming from? Are we just going to sign 35-year-olds? All we seem to be going for is really Craig Dawson, who's simply not good enough to play at Premier League level. Sorry, and J Rod. Sorry, but. 
you know, as much as I like Jay Rodriguez, he's a Burnley lad, and I know he'd do well for us. But five million is he too cheaper option? Sorry, but I want to I want to see us sign younger players. I don't care how much they cost. Yeah, of course I don't want to end up in a situation where Bolton is. But please, for the love of God, my garlic, show some figging ambition. I'm sick of it. You come out every summer and say, right, we need to strengthen. We need to get this and we need to get that. And you go back on your word. Because that's what the sort of chairman you are. Yeah, you've got a, no, you've got a bigger nose than freaking Pinocchio. I'm fucking, I'm fucking convinced of that. Excuse me for swearing, excuse me for being like that, but this is how I'm feeling right now. This summer has been a complete and utter joke again. I know it's I know it's not I know I know it's still middle of June, but there's a month to go before the season, just over a month before the season starts. Reconvenes. I want my you know, then there's the issue of Dutch fit. We need the players integrated in Dutch fit by the start of the season. Otherwise, we're going to end up being relegated. There's only so much Sean can do with that squad. We've lost a couple of players. We've lost, you know, Tom Eaton's wanting to go. You know, we don't know the situation whether Stephen DeFord's going to stay or not. He's probably got another year left on his contract. Will he go? You know, all these questions need to be answered. And it just doesn't seem as if we can be bothered. Or well, Burnley can be bothered actually bringing in top, decent, young players that can enhance the squad and make it a, lo a lot more self-sustainable. What's self-sustainable in buying a 34-year-old goal, a 32-year-old goalkeeper that we didn't need last season? What was self-sustainable about bringing in a, a pointless 37-year-old has been in Peter Bloody Crouch? That's not self-sustainable. It's just a board deciding, oh, well, the fans are at us again. Oh, we'll see what there is about the cheap market. I don't want to shop in at frigging Audi. I want to shop in at Bloody Harrod sometimes. Get some players in that can do the job that a young hungry, you know, between 15 to 20 million pound brackets. Get three or four of them in. You don't have to spend the world. You know, all I'm asking for is 50 million pounds to bring players in. So I'm asking for. I'm not asking to just to spend stupid amounts like a hundred million or two hundred million. We're not in that league. Yeah, we're way off that league of Manchester City and all the big guns. You know, I mean, you know, and that sort of thing. We could easily spend fifty to sixty million pounds, and it's not going to make any bad difference to the club's coffers one iota. You know, that's all I'm asking for. Board, can you not get it into your fixed goals? 50 to 60 million pounds is a drop in the ocean. We're four years into the Premier League and we've not spent that sort of money yet. I am terribly, terribly concerned. Uh, you know, 50, 60 million pounds is not going to damage us too much in the long run. If we were spending hundreds of millions, then yeah, I'd be concerned. But to spend, you know, what we need to do is spend 50, 60 million pounds, get the right players in. I mean, we could have had Che Adams to this, this, this summer. But we, instead of instead of paying the fifteen million pounds that Birmingham wanted, we probably dawdled around and probably bid about eight million quid. I don't know if it's true or not, but you know, it would have been great for us. But you know, we just meddle around, we mess around, we mess around and you know, we lose we lose a top quality player to our relegation rival. I I just I just find it very, very disappointing. We've got Two out and out strikers. Matty Vidra, is he a striker? Is he a midfield attacking midfielder? I see him as an attacking midfielder. I don't see him as a prop, proper striker to me. You know, we need another striker. And we need another midfield player. We need another defender, um, possibly a left back or a decent right back as well. Um, you know, we we need something. And it's getting it's getting that joke again. You know, it's becoming a joke again. You know, we're four years, this is our fourth season in the Premier League. And yet you've got Brighton, one of our rivals, spending £18 million on one player. That might actually turn out to be a really decent, great player for them. You know, I'm sick of our club having to pick up bargain basement shit all the time. I don't want us to do that anymore. 
We're free. We've been a Premier League club for four years. We're supposed to be an established Premier League team. Why are we not spending? I'm getting fed up. I didn't want to shout, but I'm... It's wound me up so much. And you keyboard warriors, if you want to have a go at me, don't even fucking bother, because I'll fucking wipe your comments off YouTube. You get that? I just want people to understand how frustrated I am. I am a proper Burnley fan. Yes, of course, I want the club to be run. One, one rel. There's no doubt about that. I don't want us going down the road at Bolton. But what's the problem in getting 40 or 50 million pounds for Sean to go and strengthen with three or four players that could make the freaking difference, get the age of the squad down, which is so badly needed, and maybe take us to that level where we could probably have a decent position in the league, something like 10th place, and have an FA Cup run. I'd love that next season. So why can't the board do that? It's a joke. Let me know in the comments section below. And if there's any keyboard warriors out to criticise me personally for my opinions, you will be ter you you will I will have your comments um, terminated from this particular video. But leave your comments respectfully in the comments section below. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do it respectfully. Not have a go at me. I'm entitled to opinion. I've given that opinion. I think Mark Garlick's an absolute unambitious little weasel. That's my opinion. Uh, whether you agree with it, that's entirely up to you. But I've given my opinion as strong as it is. I, I'm, 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 I've got a lot of frustration and anger inside my body as a Burley fan right now. I want to see us get the best quality out there that we can attract. And seeing a potential player that we could have had possibly go to our relegation rivals has wound me up so much I had to make another video criticising our board. It's just it's just getting repetitive now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you on Twitch at uh, 10 past 5 for live commentary of Germany against Sweden in the Women's World Cup. And I'll see you later.